Go on. Come on. All right, guys, good morning. <laughs> Ducks are out. All the animals are fed. There shouldn't be a lot of noise, but uh, whoever knows, really. <clears throat> so you guys ready for another 4Kids update? Uh, this one is mostly done by Alora and AJ. Uh, it's going to showcase uh, Alora doing a chore all by herself and AJ attempting to fix a fence. <laughs> Of course we get to preview this stuff because I edit it and so you know like we are so proud of our kids we really are <clears throat> and there's an opportunity to discourage them all the time but we don't we don't because if they're doing their best then that is good enough perfection is the enemy of progress and we totally believe that giving it your whole effort and making mistakes is the whole process to getting better at whatever you're trying to do. So honestly, this week has been really chaotic. We are moving all the animals closer to the house uh, because Rachel and I are going out of town, uh, going to Homesteaders of America. You guys, we're so excited. Uh, there's also a surprise that I don't think we really should tell you at this point. But you definitely will find out uh, in the next two weeks at least. Rachel and I got offered to do something really, really cool. Really nervous and we're really excited at the same time. Fantastic things are coming for our farm. Um, also, little warning, AJ's got something to share with you that uh, I'm over it, but was a little frustrated about in the beginning. Uh, caused a little bit, a little tiny bit of family strife. Uh, but I got used to it. So here you go, the four kids update. Make sure you press that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not, and enjoy. Honestly, it's always so fun seeing what these kids do without my prompting or Rachel's prompting. Uh, they just are go-getters. They're tough kids, they're smart kids, and they're really, really good kids. This is recording, this is recording, okay. Uh, lighting, lighting, okay. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Four Kids on the Farm. I'm AJ, and today, me, along with my brothers and sister, are going to be continuing our series of weekly updates here on the farm. We each have a list of responsibilities that we individually need to accomplish, and um, the first one on my list is, uh, well, I need to fix some fencing. The ducks are one of my all-time favorite animals. Like, I love them more than anyone else on this farm. They're cute, they're adorable, they're funny, and they give like the greatest eggs of all time. They've been getting into the backyard a lot, and that's not something we want. Every morning I let them out and they come into this nice lush field here, and normally they tend to stay over here in the pond, but but for some reason, they're getting into the backyard. I don't know why. Um, I don't know why they would not want to leave this place. It's beautiful, but they've been sneaking through holes in the fencing. Um, and this fencing is very old. It's very uh, rusty, very loose in some places, and it's patched up in other places. Um, that creates a lot of holes, a lot of places they can sneak through, and that's not something we want. So my goal today is to find those holes essentially looking from a duck's perspective to find those holes, patch them up so that, the, so that the ducks can stay out here and not annoy the living heck out of me. Now, there are two primary areas that I find they sneak in through. Um, one of them is under the gate, which is uh, kind of expected. And the other um, is right 
over here. Just let me speed up a bit. So, right over, is it here? No, I fixed that, okay. Somewhere over here, okay. Yes, it's either through there. There are a few little holes in there that they can somehow sneak through. I don't know how, but, oh, well, Lily can sneak through that, but. Um, gonna do it. Gonna do it. But yeah, that's my main job today. That's my main chore. I'm gonna go grab some fencing, gonna patch those holes up, and I'm going to get to fence fixing. Get back in there. Get back. Good girl. It is ideal weather for fixing fencing. So, uh, let's get to it. Hey, Steve. Okay, now like said, they seem to be getting through here. And um, I am not <clears throat> completely sure if I should patch this fencing up or if I should just like put a log or some barrier in, in front of it. And I think that's actually what I'm gonna do. Uh, so we do have um, a nice wooden board, conveniently situated in the duck pen. So I'm gonna put that in there. I'm probably gonna like zip tie it to the fencing um, because I don't know, that's a decently sized hole. Oh yeah, so I'm not sure if I mentioned this earlier, but I bleached my hair. Um, probably not the smartest decision I've ever made, but I don't like it, but I don't not like it either. But anyway, let's get off my irrelevant side tangent and get to fixing this fencing. Let's see here. Drill, 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 drill. Drill bits. Drill, drill, is that a drill? No, oh, that's not a drill. Okay. Okay. Now I need a battery. Battery, battery, battery. Uh. You want to show everybody our. Yes! Our <laughs> yes! My favorite! Where can I find a battery for this? Uh. There's nothing in here. I don't see. Mm, I don't know. Um. This particular piece of wood that I'm looking for is conveniently located in uh, uh, the duck pen. Bailing twine, check. Accidental. I'm Alora from Four Kids in a Farm, and this is my master class. Hello, guys. Today we are gonna milk the goat. What are you doing right now? We're getting the stuff ready to milk the goat. First, we need, well, you don't have to use this, but we use a milking bucket that we put all the stuff in. Then we need a container to fill the hot and sudsy water. Then we'll put a lid and screw it on. Second, 
will be paper towels to wash and dry the goat's udders. Then we'll need a milking cup. Then we'll need a cup to put all the milk in. Let's just use one of these. Then we'll put it in. We're going to go get all our stuff, paper towels, hot and sudsy water, milking cup, and our cup that we put the milk in when we're done. Okay. Until the goat needs to be milked. Yeah. Over the fence. <laughs> okay, I got the milk stuff over here. What we're gonna need, we need to set up the, we need to put the milking grain, some of the milking grain into the cup so then she'll walk up. Well, she already instantly walks up, but she, she'll get down if she doesn't have grain. So, we're just gonna get some grain and you put it in. Look at this thing. Whoa. So, here, let me see. You kidding me? I broke it. <laughs> okay. All right, what you need me to do, boss? Pepper, no. Wait. Get Pepper out. That's what I need you to do. Oh no. Okay. Ah. Okay. Yeah. No, smart. Okay, now. This is. Yeah. Yeah. Two, two. Okay. How do we do this? <laughs> we need the mama up so none of them can get back. Okay, but they're rummaging. Okay. Ah, oh my gosh. Stepping on my boots. You want to step on my boots? Okay. Okay. Hold this. Now, what we need to do. Oh, ah, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hate this. All right. Get back in there. Get yeah. back in. Go back in. Go back in. Go. Move no, your yeah, wee! Nah, Rosie! No, no! Hey, no! Yeah! Ah. Get out! Licorice! Back in! Licorice! Back in! Ah. You're scaring them away! Get back, Licorice! Okay! Licorice. Get! No! Guys, we got the They're like, well, this grass here is good! Get back in! Ah, son of a gun! <laughs> Go around. Rosie, get back in. There we go. Yeah. Okay, get back in. AJ. Yeah. I don't know what to do here. Yeah. Ah. Okay. okay, we're gonna grab our hot and sudsy water and we'll dip the paper towel in. Hot and sudsy. Yep. Then we'll unfold the paper towel. Then it will be bigger than we we'll just wipe it. Wipe the teats off. But the important thing for cleaning the udders is drying it. Because then you get all the gunk off and you have to dry it like, mm -hmm. like all the way. And the second thing you'll need to do is strip it. Stripping, you need to make sure there's nothing, like no dirt or hay or anything in the udders. Mm. When your cup is full, then you'll dump it in the giant cup that you put the milk in. Mm -hmm. Just put that. 
right here. Nope, don't squirt me. No, oh, hey, no. <laughs> no. Oh, that's warm. Yeah, that's how old milk is. Cow milk. Duh. Yak milk. Okay. Have I you had yak milk before? No, but it's warm. All milk is warm, except when it's refrigerated. You're weird. One thing. Okay, cheese dip. Cheat dip is stuff that helps their udders to like not get infected. Do you want to spell it on you? So just you dip just it, dip it does. where the whole where the, the milk comes where out. The milk comes out. Cool. Just a little bit until the hole is covered. Yep, it does. <laughs> okay, sweet, sweet. Need the other old lady hand or finger. Huh? Need the other old lady. The old lady finger. <laughs> <laughs> old lady finger. Because I milked it all out and it's all wrinkly. <laughs> okay, got it. Bueno. I mean, you got some. You got more on yourself than you did on the goat, but still. Yeah. Alora, you're just amazing. Okay, you know that. <laughs> Everybody, leave a like, like this video, subscribe to the channel because Alora is one of the hardest workers on this farm. I mean, can you can you resist this face, this hard working little 50 year old? <laughs> no. Eight year old. That's what I said. No, 58. Said that's, what, that's what I said, 58 year old. See? Fifth. Eight! <laughs> yes, <old>. see? <laughs> Seriously, like this video for her if anything else.